Faced with the growing need for producers to maximize the value of beef and lamb carcasses, Eblex has developed a range of alternative cuts suitable for sous vide cooking. The method consists in packing the meat in a vacuum sealed pouch and cooking it in a water bath for relatively long periods of time. By promoting the new cuts, Eblex hopes to reduce food waste and boost beef and lamb consumption. Retailers are t taking on and um, the, using these new cuts as a meat and actually giving the consumer better offer. Improving the presentation of meat in, in the supermarkets is, is absolutely so critical. Well, what this means is that butchers can better utilise the whole carcass. So in other words, this may be, or certainly some of the beef cuts, they would have previously diced and minced, for which they can only get a certain value, value from it. For this, we can now get a better price, a better value for this particular cut. The consumer benefits, because it still will be more economical. But as people change their habits and start buying meat, then the cost of the the prime cuts at the top comes down and the whole carcass becomes better balanced. We're starting to see, certainly on the continent, they start building these into domestic kitchens. So for the retail butcher in the not too distant future, there will be an opportunity to be selling these to people who use it exactly the same as an old-fashioned slow cooker. Butchers can certainly get better, much better value by doing this bit of extra work they could ever do just sticking it in a mincer or uh, cutting it with a dice. The key thing about the water bath is the critical temperature. It needs to be able to hold the temperature for the required number of times. You can't stick it in a boiling pan on a, on a stove top and expect it to do the same job. It's got to keep exactly the right temperature. You need them either to use it immediately or to chill it down very rapidly. But the important fact is it must be in a sealed bag, it must be cooked at a temperature, and it must be, if you're not going to use it immediately, cool really quickly, down certainly below five, if not below three. If you try to roast it, you'd have to very slowly roast it for a long period of time, and then it would all shrink down and end up with actually quite a chewy piece of meat. By doing it this way, it retains its shape, it retains its moisture, it keeps it moist. If you chill that down, you can then do a number of things with it.